Hello, mis amores, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great. And I hope you're having an amazing day. And today, we are done with life. I am just dead. And I think you can see it on my face that I'm filming this at the end of the video, basically. So I've already done everything. It was a journey. Mm. Anyway, we're still excited at the beginning. We're super motivated because it's the start. We have so many plans. We are gonna ace this. We're gonna learn something new and we're just excited to get this started. Let me talk about the this as in what we're gonna do today. It's time for another sewing video. I was finally inspired again. I was inspired by someone I never thought I would be inspired by, namely Kendall Jenner or Kylie Jenner or whoever was responsible for the styling for their shoot of their new collection, I think together for Kylie Cosmetics, I don't know. I saw their photo together and I just loved and adored what they wore. So edgy almost but still like classy because of the fabric and the way it was just manipulated it was just so intriguing to me that i was like i don't know i want to try and do this And I don't know if you guys remember, but last summer I went to Ikea in a video and I bought this beautiful blanket. This is what's left of it at the end of this video. This is it in its entirety. I bought it in the Aziz section for like, I think four euros. When I bought it, I was like, I'm sure I can turn it into something cute. And obviously the first thing that comes to mind is like this Chanel blazer suit situation. Didn't want to do that. So I couldn't come up with something to make out of it for the longest time and then I saw the Kylie Jenner, Kendall Jenner photo and I was like, wait, I am sure that I could probably distress it and manipulate it in a way that kind of comes close to it. Yes, I don't have any of the sequin -y stuff and whatever is this fabric is made out of that the designer used. By the way, I am really shocked that neither Kendall Jenner nor Kylie Jenner nor Kylie Cosmetics in any of the photos tagged or credited the designer when really it is the center point of all of the photos. Of course, they're not obliged to do it. I just think it's something you do. You can barely see your makeup, but you can definitely see the dresses. I'm just saying. Luckily, now, I mean, I have found the designer beforehand anyway. And so this is the name of the designer. I've forgotten it right now. <laughs> I also thought it looks very organic. Like maybe you cannot make too many mistakes with it or if if you were to make mistakes, you can just work with it. And I thought maybe that's what I need. And also be more creative with it. Without further ado, I've talked way too much about what I've got planned for this. Just know I was inspired by this dress. I am not going to replicate it. That becomes clear very early on in this video, I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> let's just start with the first step. I wanted to come closer to the color of the original, so obviously the fabric had to be bleached. So here is my amazing dyeing process. Hello, I'm ready to dye my fabric, and I hope you are too. Actually, I'm not ready. There we go. Now I'm ready. I've got reine Sauerstoffbleich here. I've actually never used it to bleach something. I'm gonna read the instructions. You know what? It doesn't even say. I think I'm just gonna put all of it in there and hope that it's fine like that. I don't know. Well, I gotta open up my 490 blanket. Me, my best friend. I feel like it should do something already as well, but it's not. See you later, bye bye. I don't really want to say anything, guys, but it's been like 45 minutes and so far, nothing has happened. I don't want this color. Yes, guys, I know you've told me and I know you were right now, but you cannot bleach this kind of a fabric. So now I've wasted my bleach on nothing. And I also don't know what to do because I think it's really ugly like this. Okay, guys, see the thing is... See the thing is... 
yes, now I know that there are fabrics that just can't be bleached, but I find that so crazy. I just don't like it. But then again, I also don't, I'm, ah, I'm so sorry for the noise, guys. I'm this close to a mental breakdown and just trying to think of another idea for this week because also this didn't work. I think the texture of the fabric would actually be really nice as what I have in mind. The thing is, I know you guys will scream at me and I'm gonna scream at myself as well to finally get a dress form. I have nowhere to go with this. Dress forms are so big and I have nowhere to put this in my room and I don't really wanna put it in any other room, especially since since it's just a hobby that I do every couple of weeks. It's just gonna be really hard constructing this. Obviously, I'm gonna go from top to bottom, I guess. My first plan is to make this sort of bralette thingy. I have a sewing pattern for bralette. You can find it anywhere on the internet, really. I obviously think I'm gonna have to adjust this a little bit. This is basically very triangular formed, which is not where we're going for. We need them to be less high and wider as well. And then they're also obviously connected in the middle. All right, I'm just taking this piece of scrap fabric. I just wanna know if it works. <laughs> we wanna sew this together like this. This is good, right? If we just shorten this, okay. I don't know how people can just casually sew in their home because I feel like I need an entire sewing studio to be able to get any work done because you need a desk, you need a dress form, you need a large, large table for you to cut your pieces and stuff, and then obviously storage for all your fabrics. Hi. Uh, I have got a new plan. No. I don't. I'm just ready to make it work today. I just think it can turn into something really cool. These cups are way too big. I'm gonna have to take measurements from Naomi in a little while. Unless in the end, I'll just do this so that we get more fraying stuff here because I really like how it frays, you know? I have made very beautiful sketches yesterday that are very easily understandable. <laughs> so this is the back of the dress. In here, I've just got my tracing paper. And this is what we're gonna make a pattern out of because I think I can basically just draw on it, cut it out and put it on Naomi's body and see if it works. Also guys, yesterday, <sighs> I wasn't listening to music. Now we can work. Granted, there is not a lot of fabric. <laughs> the straps I wanna do later. I love how I'm explaining each step of my thought process when making this pattern very thoroughly, even though you probably can't see anything. And after approximately 468 hours and about 18 changes of mind, is there even a plural of this expression? I seem to have created a mess that I, now looking back at it, can't even understand anymore. And we somehow just ended up with something looking like this. An hour later, it looks even worse. I've moved around about 200 times in my room. I made more sketches that you will never understand. <laughs> I think I figured it out now. So we basically need two random big pieces and then we're just gonna work with and it says here straps with a lot of straps that are just gonna keep the two big pieces up and connect it to the top as well obviously we're gonna have some halters as well i don't know how to explain this is the front piece this is like a little bit under the boot and then we obviously have this downfally situation that reveals the tummy. And from here we go on straight down just because this will be connected to the back side, but that doesn't matter yet. This all will be connected to the back side. And here we've got a slit. And then the back piece kind of looks a bit similar. We've got the slit here as well, obviously. We've got a straight edge on the other side. I think I'm just gonna connect it a little bit to the other side though, so that we've got another tiny little slit here as well that is not so open, but is there when you move around. We have like this little corner here. This is gonna be connected to the top so it stays up. This part is also gonna be connected to this top. Do you understand? 
I mean, this is just like my theory on paper right now. I have no idea if this is gonna work. Obviously, I still had to adjust it according to Naomi's measurements. And that's what I did, especially with the top, as you can see here. And then afterwards, all I did was I cut out my amazing pattern. Around the same time, I also cut out some halter straps for the top from both the tissue paper and also the fabric. After I've measured the length from the top of the top to where I want the straps to end on Naomi's back. Okay, we have moved on to my workstation, <laughs> our kitchen bench. Before I cut this out of our fabric, I think I'm gonna cut this in half again, like somewhere, maybe like a squiggly line, and then sew this back together so that we've also got like this frizzle. Make like a nice little line in here. Leave a seam allowance, obviously. Then I've got two back pieces that are then afterwards sewed together as well. All the pieces are cut now, and the first thing I gotta do is puzzle them back together. <laughs> then all the parts that are not being joined with something else, I will have to sew along the edge just so it doesn't fray too much, but just enough. Me and my best friend. We can finally start. That took forever. Hello guys. We've got the lab bishes outside again, but it's not going to stop us because on Wednesday, even though it's Thursday today, we wear pink. And on Wednesday, even though it's Thursday, we're going to finish this dress. I've got all of the main pieces. So now it's just a matter of putting it together. And then also, obviously, I need more straps in order to, just like on Kendall's dress, there are a lot of strings that just pull the dress in the right places so that it hugs the body nicely and also that it just looks a bit better. But these straps I will only be able to do later once the actual dress is constructed. Oh my God, on camera, this fabric looks even more horrible than in real life. This is the front piece that I'm gonna connect to the back piece right here. Here's our slit. I'm also also gonna connect a bit of this together and then have another slit at the bottom. Then we can also already pin and sew our top together. I did not do the best job at sewing this together because really all I'm hoping is that it'll fray a lot. We're just gonna pin them to the top of this. I think I'm also gonna do it like this. Basically the exact same we're gonna do on the side with just longer ones. Well, <laughs> obviously you gotta see what it looks like when it's worn. It just needs to be way more like distressed. I found a mannequin. Uh, wait, a dress form. <laughs> so, so far it's kind of ugly. It's a potato sack. I'm hoping that all of this is gonna fray at some point, by the way. Just... When? So I accidentally created a false reality <laughs> in which these straps, they were supposed to go here. <laughs> an idea. Guys, what if I make another strap to connect the halter strap with like somewhere in here so that this also goes up a little, you know? I think I'm gonna start with the easiest part, which is just to cut more into this to give it more edge, you know? Technically, I could explain to you guys in detail which kind of straps I put where and why I put them there, but really I just thought it was highly unique to Naomi's body because I just randomly placed them wherever I thought they were needed or she felt they were needed to cover up parts that she wanted to cover up. And also in terms of functionality, as for example, the strap in the back to hold up the skirt of the dress. Then I also just added some decorative straps that were supposed to fray a little bit more to add to the distressed look. And that's basically all I did to finish off the dress. Guys, the amount of times I got confused by this garment. There are so many straps everywhere. I need to let this fray as much as I can. Show yourself. We're done. Oh. Ooh, yo, yo. <laughs> Ooh, oh, yo, oh, yo. Oh, 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 this is skin. Show some skin. Make them one to an experience. My opinion on this is amazing presentation. 
amazing way to show off your tattoos. I kind of like this. However, the fabric. <laughs> I would honestly just give it some sleeves out of the same fabric. Like very loosely, I can still see the inspiration. <laughs> it's just a horrible fabric. But uh, honestly, if you really wanted to, I think you could make this outfit work. I could see this at a beauty photo shoot. <laughs> la 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 la. <laughs> Why do you want to be Shakira in this? <laughs> Again, I think you could make this work and that's a win for me. <laughs> so la 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 la. So I was looking for the most random place to say goodbye to you guys and I think I found it. And I think for how random this video was, this is a great place to end it as well. I am semi-happy with the dress. I think it's definitely one of the better things I've ever created. I know many of you will disagree with it because you can't see the vision. Especially now having seen what they all thought of Kylie and Kendall's dresses. And they were like properly well made and not made by me. I know it won't be for all of you, but I enjoyed the process. I enjoyed the end result. And I could actually see myself going in a similar direction, like really being inspired by this way of creating clothes. Poppy you didn't cringe too much, which is hard to do, especially if you know stuff about sewing, you will probably cringe a lot when watching my sewing videos. And in that sense, I gotta finish editing this video. So all that's left for me to say is thank you guys so much for watching this video. Bye!